Mombok for me is a special place. It's where I spent a lot of years in my childhood growing up. And more importantly, I played football around the Yarra Ranges on many different grounds and I went to primary school just down the road. This isn't just a development to me. This brings me back to where I grew up. The name Orchard is really a reference to Mombok's history, being the fruit farms and fruit growers. And when we were thinking of a name for the development, Orchard was one that stood out to us as being a nice nod to the history of Mombok. Orchard is a mixed-use development, um, comprising 21 high-end apartments, large in space, um, as well as some retail on the ground floor. And, and we're really designing the building to reactivate that part of Mombok. In Mombok, there's around 10,000 odd cars that pass through Mombok on a daily basis, but very few of them actually drive down the main street for various reasons. So what we see as being one of the major benefits of reactivating the retail space at this end of the town is that it will draw more people down the main street which will benefit all of the retailers along the main street of Mombok. I just recently closed my small business in the main street. I've been a, um, a business owner here for four years and unfortunately there's just not enough local people shopping in the area. We have good quality local shoppers and amazing community um, spirit in this area but unfortunately when the numbers are low you still just can't maintain you know enough profit margins to run a business hence we've got many empty shops um, in the main street. We've considered the architecture in many different ways we really wanted to find something that blended into the area and it wasn't too profound but also was a nice character development that would stand out as well and that would be the rejuvenation of the, the main street in Mombok. In my experience with development, it's important to look for the early signs and those early signs often reflect you know, an upgrade in local infrastructure you know, from council and state government and when you're looking at Mombok, it's actually already happened. You know, you, you've got the upgrades to the football club, the soccer grounds, you've got the living and learning centre. Companies like Aldi have, have shifted into the town. And the next step is really that residential sector. No, I like the, the plan, the picture looks really good and I think it would lift um, Mombok. I think Mombok needs a lift. We've participated in the community consultation process that's been run by council about the future of Mombok, you know, the structure plan. And we've listened to what the community said, you know, about housing. It needs to be affordable. It needs to be smaller, it needs to be centrally located, functional and practical. And we've really considered that in all of the architectural design that we've put for this building here. You know, it's got to be luxury, it's got to be high end. But it's not your typical apartment development. While it's got to fit in to the Mombolk surrounds, it also has to stand out. And that's what's going to make this remarkable. One common and understandable fear from the community's perspective is overdevelopment in our experience is what people feel is that the floodgates will open for unnecessary development, congestion and a change in the social sphere. However, from our experience, one thing that can really hold a community back is underdevelopment. Because with underdevelopment, that's what has a community go stagnant and go from very quickly being progressional to just purely surviving. Some of the key benefits of Orchard is low maintenance living, residents looking to downsize, but also extending that opportunity to neighbouring townships, activating that retail space. But more importantly, this is about rejuvenating Mombok. So if you're interested in Orchard, visit the website, register your details for more information, and we'll get in touch with you soon.